Hello, so the quality of my camera kind of looks atrocious right now and that is because A, I'm filming on my phone and B, it is almost pitch black at half past four so that's absolutely brilliant. So um, most of you know that I love anything to do with sustainability and helping the environment and also I love cooking. I am um, no Gordon Ramsay whatsoever. I I wouldn't call myself a great cook, I just really enjoy it and I really like experimenting with new foods etc. So I'm going to combine the two today and since most of us are on a student budget like me and are wanting to make our food a bit more sustainable to help the environment then I'm going to do one of my favourite recipes for a cold dark day like this um, which uses up pretty much any fruit and vegetables that you may have or any leftovers at all that you may have that you can chuck in and also um, most of these things can be bought plastic free as well to minimise our damage on the environment and it's very cheap and you can cook it in bulk so you're getting a lot for what you're paying so this is a recipe that my mum always used to make when I was a kid and it is one of my favourite recipes and it's just a simple vegetable soup and I'm sure a lot of you already know how to make this, but for those of you who don't, let's take you to my kitchen to see what I make. Hi guys, and welcome to Natalie's cooking show. So, today we have got all the ingredients here. You can basically mix and match these as much as you want, put in whatever vegetables you have in your fridge or in your cupboards. Um, carrots, broccoli, potatoes, celery if you have it, um, cauliflower if you have it, mushrooms, literally whatever you like, whatever you want, whatever is going off. So by the way guys, here's a little tip for some uh, low waste cooking. I know your parents probably always taught you to peel the skin off veg, but don't do that. I'm telling you, it tastes so much better with the skin on. <laughs> it's tried and tested, cameraman is nodding behind the camera, it tastes so much better with the skin on. So first step is you heat up a large pan big enough for the whole sort of soup to cook in. Um, on quite a high temperature and heat some oil in that as well and then what you want to do is you want to heat not heat fry your leeks and your onions so once your leeks and onions have softened and browned slightly you're gonna add some hot water in how much you add literally just depends on how watery you want your soup. Remember that the pearl barley will absorb a lot of the water as well. And it's better to put less in because you can always add more in later rather than take some away. So then because uh, the pearl barley takes quite a while, I think it takes about 30 minutes. It says 30 minutes, but I usually do it for about 45 because it's still usually quite chewy at 30 minutes. Um, so I literally just eyeball all of this and then just leave that for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now we can see the pearl barley's like puffed up a little bit more and it's absorbed quite a lot of the water. I am now going to add the potatoes to cook because they take the next longest. So just mix them in and we'll leave them for another 10 minutes before we add anything else in. And we're also gonna add our stock cube now just to let it simmer and add a bit of flavour so just mix that in. Okay so it's 10 minutes later and we're going to add the carrots now and let them boil for another 5 to 10 minutes before we add the broccoli. So now for the bit that you're all going to think, ew gross, a tin of beans. Um, my mum always added a half a tin of beans into her soup and honestly it makes it, it taste so good. So yeah just add half a tin of beans and then you can save the other half beans on toast whatever whatever you're feeling no waste here so i always like to serve it with some bread and butter um, we had some baps that were going off um, pretty soon so we just used up them to save waste um, and i topped it with some chia seeds and that was enough for two big portions and there's plenty more left over that you can freeze or have the next day 